Hi folks, thanks for watching. Today we're going to pop open a bottle of Chimay Sink Sense and pair it with my personal favorite, the Chimay Classic Cheese. Cut. Taste a piece of cheese, savor the mild taste and smooth texture with a touch of salt and buttery finish. Sip. Take a generous mouthful of the ale and mix it with the cheese in your mouth. This blonde beer smells of fresh hops and yeast and is a rare balance of sweet and bitter. That was satisfying. Okay, let's move on for now and make something classic to go with our classic cheese. I'm talking about fried chicken and waffles here. First things first, let's get some chicken thighs marinating. Grab a large bowl or a Ziploc bag. Normally I do this in a Ziploc, but this is TV, so let's get fancy. Add to the bowl three cups of buttermilk, a couple of dashes of hot sauce, a generous amount of salt and pepper, and a sprig of thyme. Add to the marinade six boneless chicken thighs with the skin on. Trust me, you'll be happy for some fried chicken skin later on. Completely submerge the chicken in the marinade and let it chill out in the fridge for at least four hours to overnight. The longer the better. While that's marinating, let's take a quick break to cut. Sip. That's good stuff. Now, let's pretend it's been four hours and let's get the flour ready for our dredge. In a separate bowl, let's add two cups of flour, all purpose is good for this, and spice it up with some paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. Oh, and don't forget some salt and pepper for good measure. Again, be generous. Since it's, you know, been four hours, wink wink, we're ready to dredge our chicken. Work with one thigh at a time and pull them out of the buttermilk mix with some tongs. Lightly tap the chicken against the sides of the bowl to remove any excess liquid. Drop the chicken into the flour dredge and thoroughly coat, and I mean thoroughly coat. Get it in all those nooks and crannies. Repeat this with the rest of the pieces of the chicken. Now we're ready to fry these bad boys. In a large, heavy bottom pot, add enough oil to cover the chicken, about four inches up the side, and get that puppy heated up to 350 degrees. Add the chicken and fry until they're golden brown and the internal temperature reaches 165. You'll want to fry these in batches so the oil temperature doesn't drop too much when you add the chicken. Transfer the golden brown goodness to a paper towel lined baking sheet and let it rest so we can get started on our waffles. But first, I think you should take another quick break. A guy's gotta eat, right? Cut. Sip. Waffle time. In a large bowl, whisk together two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of salt. Kosher is good here. In a separate bowl, mix all the wet ingredients. We'll do one and three quarter cups of whole milk, two eggs plus one egg yolk, and four tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. Whisk it up. Pour the wet into the dry and combine. Here's a good part. Fold in one and a half cups of shredded Chimay Classic Cheese. Mix it. Mix it real good. Last step. To a heated and greased waffle iron, add about half a cup of the waffle mixture and cook until done. If your waffle iron beeps, great. Mine only beeps a third of the time, so I have to watch it like a hawk. Oh, good, it beeped. Carefully remove the waffles, preferably not with your fingers like I just did, that was hot. Transfer to a plate, top with your deliciously golden brown fried chicken and a healthy serving of real maple syrup. Enjoy with the Sink Sense Ale and some more classic on the side to cut, sip, and repeat and you've got yourself an amazing meal. Enjoy.